it is not rare in any history of peoples and nations that at one or other stage, that nation is approaching a crossroad. There are many crossroads. In the history of South Africa, we had also many crossroads, or as Professor Gumeria has referred to as historical moments. 1994 was one. As far as the Freedom Front Plus is concerned, our next crossroad or historical moment is 2024. It will not be the last one, uh, and it is also not the first one. But there is a responsibility on politicians, and I also want to say not only on politicians, but also on the electorate of that specific country. Therefore, I want to say that this initiative is an initiative of all the parties sitting here. We came together and we said that we must set an example. How are we going to ensure that we save South Africa? I don't think there's anyone in South Africa that will not agree that we are not at a good point in the history of our country. If you look at the decay, if you look at the crime situation, everybody says, but there must be change. Yes. And we must also understand, as I said, in a democracy, it's not only politicians, because there are many people that say, but you as politicians, you must solve the problems. Yes, we must. But we must also say, a political party is only as strong as the supporters who vote for that specific party. And that's why I say that we must set the example as political party leaders to say that we will take hands. But we must also say to the electorate, you must strengthen the taking of those hands so that we can say South Africa. And the only way we can say South Africa is if we get rid of the ANC government. There's no other way. And we also know that the historical moment for South Africa is that for the first time, actually, because of the electoral system of proportionality, we get to a situation where we know that there's not one single opposition party on its own who will be able to win an election next year. <clears throat> but because of the proportionality, Every voter can vote for his or her party, make that party strong, and then know that that vote counts and strengthen all the parties so that we can take hands that as a coalition of opposition, we can become a coalition government. But we, and that's what we expect from these two days, is to say that we are a group of political parties here and we must work towards a situation where we can say, firstly, that we trust each other, that we undertake, that we will be loyal towards the coalition, and that we will ensure that we will do everything we can to unseat the ANC government. Therefore, my appeal is to the electorate, register and ensure that you vote in 2024. We will set that example, and I do believe we will. But we must also understand that we are still separate political parties. I always say in Afrikaans, the Freiheitsfront plus sal saamwerk, maar ons sal nie saam smelt nie. You must always remember, you must make your party strong to ensure that after the election, because after the election, you will form a formal coalition, that you can bring those values of your party into that coalition. That is most important. But we must work hard. The Freedom Front Plus is willing to work hard and work together to ensure that we save South Africa. <coughs> Thank you.